Welcome to the Craft Cocktail. I'm Derek Schomer. Today what I want to talk about are jiggers. Why specifically jiggers? Well, as you start progressing through our channel, what you're going to learn is a lot about uh, the basics of cocktail creation, drinks that we've curated for you that build upon each other so that you can learn from the ground up. One of the fundamental things that you need to learn is how to measure an appropriate ounce. The books that we're gonna be producing for this channel call for everything in both ounces and milliliters. My equipment all measures in ounces because I get confused. Some of them have ML options, but I get confused if there's just ML because then I gotta do the conversion in my head all the time. Since everything we do is in ounces, we're gonna work in ounces throughout this channel. Here are a few of the different jiggers that I personally, I sell on awesomedrinks.com and I know I've seen them in, in the bar scene and everybody has their preference. Uh, the Easy Step Jigger is one of the ones that we use for our bar kits because it's a great introductory jigger. It has the two ounces, an ounce and a half, one ounce and a half ounce all in a single jigger and you can look down and measure up into these little posts over here uh, that give you an idea of what the measure should be. Uh, the one that my buddy Curtis falls back on and Ian falls back on a lot is the OXO. Uh, the OXO is a great one. It doesn't do so well in the dishwasher. The, the beauty of the OXO is that it has all the lines faced up so you can pour down and figure out where you're going to go. The standard jiggers everybody sees at the bars are these little jiggers. You throw them between your fingers, boom, you make your drinks, pour them over here and everybody's good and it's a great time. Then there's the jigger that I know and love that I've grown accustomed to over the last, I don't know, year or so, maybe even a little less. And this is the jigger I use when I create cocktails, when I reproduce the cocktails that we're putting out in our eBooks. Because, and I, and I bring it with me when I go places because it kind of measures out everything that I need outside of a quarter of an ounce. This is called a Japanese jigger. This is actually a Japanese double jigger because it's got two sides. The beauty of the Japanese jigger, and, and the thing that makes it the Japanese jiggers, is it's tall more of a cylinder compared to these short squat, but they measure more accurately with your margins of error. The larger the surface area on the top, the chances are you're gonna create a larger margin for error for every little millimeter of, of distance you miss from the top. The perfect pour has the liquid right on the top, making it very hard to carry with you. However, if you go a little margin under it on this, the accuracy is going to be tighter than having more surface area at the bottom because there's more liquid floating at the top. So a little bit low or a little bit high is going to create a larger margin for error. So your wash line when you pour it into the cocktail where the, where the liquid sits is going to be different per cocktail. And it's never cool to serve two people cocktails and have both the same cocktail but one's here and one's up here. You want it to be fairly consistent. The proper measure, and I've already kind of got the camera set up for this, what you really need is to hit the top. I will show you what you don't want to do. This is not two ounces. That's a two ounce jigger right here, but that's not two ounces. That's closer to two ounces, but it's not exactly two ounces. That, that's a nice two ounce pour. The Japanese jigger, this one I sell in Awesome Drinks, and I searched forever for this to have one that was in ounces. You can get them in milliliters. This one is half ounce, three quarters of an ounce, a full ounce, ounce and a half, two ounces, which gives you tons of flexibility. The only thing you're really missing for a standard cocktail is a quarter of an ounce. Well, guess what? This is damn near a quarter of an ounce. That's kind of what they typically create for a, a spoon level is about a quarter of an ounce, a teaspoon, someplace between like seven and 10 ml. So if you have a bar spoon, which most people do, and you have a jigger, which you should have, you have it pretty much all the measures you need. If you want four ounces, you just do this one twice. And if you're really concerned about the accuracy in case you spill down on the bar, what you can do is just build the drink over your glass. That way if you miss or you over pour a little bit, you end up having the ability to consume it as opposed to having to clean it up. Don't forget to subscribe to the show. I also suggest you check out the ebook down in the corner. That is a cocktail book that my wife has designed that's purely based on rum. Not too many spirits are required, so it's, it's a level one book for people who are interested in rum and just getting started. So click there to jump to homecocktailmenu.com and purchase it. For the barware, you can always go to awesomedrinks.com. That's it, my friends. Go make yourself a drink. Flare!